I think after several years of working at Mind, we realized that one of the key issues or challenges was that the lived experiences of people from different identities and different communities that we work for are part of wasn't fully understood or represented. Looking at mindfulness as a whole, we weren't seeing everybody there in the picture. We weren't seeing the lived experiences of people from all different races, ages, classes, abilities, and in particular, people of color, people from LGBTQ plus communities. We weren't seeing full and open welcoming of those identities, also in particular of the richness of those identities. So there's the acknowledgement that it can be tough sometimes. There can be, there are challenges that come with holding an identity of being a person of color or being from an LGBTQ plus community, but there is such a wealth, there is such a richness, there is so much to celebrate, and how can we bring that in? I'm Uz Afsal and I'm the lead trainer in the Radical Self-Care modality. Radical Self-Care, it's about tapping into the innate capacities that we have for awareness, which is what mindfulness is about, the awareness of our experience in the present moment, and for self-care, for kindness, for compassion. These are things that we're not necessarily encouraged to do, educated to do, socialized to do. So this is why we wanted to put this program together where we are uh, cultivating these really key important capacities. That awareness of intersectionality, awareness of trauma sensitivity, all of these things are riven through this program. Um, I'm Mia Chambers. I'm director of Rainbow Mind and Mindfulness Lead at City Hackney Waltham Forest Mind. The course for me, it has shifted my relationship to myself. It's it's shifted the way in which I meet my own uh, pain and struggles in life in terms of the tone with which I meet myself. That has become more accepting. And I think that we have heard in our evaluations that this has been the case for pretty much everyone who has taken part, that somehow that noticing of the way they relate to themselves has shifted. I'm Brendan Lucia and I'm a therapist. I think the biggest value of RADSEC to me, myself, has been around being a better friend to myself. I think as a therapist in my practice, one of the things that I really value from RADSEC is around present moment awareness. I think the more that I'm able to be really present in the space from moment to moment, the more I'm able to see my clients and respond uh, authentically to where they are. And I think particularly in my work with men, I think there's a really desperate need in a lot of men for some self-love and some self-compassion, and it's very hard for them to access. And RADSEC offers a really accessible route um, to begin that process, which I think a lot of men need. Uh, my name is Marita Ludlam, and I'm a sessional mindfulness facilitator. I think the practices, the RADSEC practices, have really enabled me to be more gentle and kinder with myself. And also to notice when I'm giving myself a really hard time. I'm Bindi and I work for the Recovery College. Um, one of the things that I've really enjoyed um, since being um, a participant on the course is it's my waking moments. It's having the five mindful breaths as I wake in the morning and really taking that time to just luxuriate, to come into my senses um, before I think about moving, getting out of bed, before I think about my to-do list. Um, it's just really lovely. My name is Nora. I am assistant psychologist for the NHS um, and I'm also a recovery worker in Turning Point, which is a substance misuse organisation. We're so hardwired to believe that putting ourselves first is selfish or is too individualist. There is so much benefit on uh, certain clinical populations um, that I can see RADSEC having. Uh, I'm already involved with it in the substance misuse population and the watching it work its magic has just been so remarkable because this population of, often has a very pronounced sense of shame um, and can be really hard on themselves. 
and you know we meet every Friday afternoon and people can just really be themselves well I get the sense they can be themselves in a way that they can't elsewhere uh, and then in my work in the NHS which is around perinatal mental health once again we've got so many mothers that are really struggling with a, a sense of shame a sense of not being good enough and Red Set really does focus on on these kind of core beliefs in a really simple and compassionate way which again makes it so accessible for people and so so powerful. If I could describe RADSEC in three words, I think I'd say needed, compassion, embodied. Friendliness to self. A moment by moment inquiry, acceptance and self-care. I would use nurturing, compassionate, accessible. Profound, inclusive, connecting, beautiful and joyful. <laughs>